welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's upload. It's May 28th and it's cold outside. It seems like it could almost be snowing right now. It's so cold and it's been rainy for the past couple of days. But that's all right. Feeling a little bit of a breeze right here. Today's video centers around two plein air painting sessions. Corbin and I were up in Door County last weekend and I was lucky enough to get a couple of plein air painting sessions in. The first painting that we're going to check out in today's video was painted in Ephraim, kind of on top of the road looking down over the harbor. And that was a that was a hot and sunny afternoon, a lot different day than it is today. But I was able to capture some of the sparkle in the water and I think that I captured some of that sunshine as well. The second painting that I did when we were in Door County was at Cave Point. Of course, Cave Point is my favorite natural area. I love going there because, kind of like today, where the wind just creates such an atmosphere out at Cave Point, there's, there's always waves crashing into the rocks and that rhythmic quality of the waves really adds to my experience. And it's always fun to be out at Cave Point because as those waves kind of crash in and they create such a deep, a deep sound of those waves underneath the rocks that I was standing on. So I hope you'll enjoy that video as well. The reason we were in Door County was that I had a workshop at the Peninsula School of Art. The workshop was all about color. I had a bunch of great students and, and it was a very good time. We're gonna add into today's video just a couple of random clips from the workshop that Corbin shot on my cell phone. I did film my demo and um, and I have actually three hours of raw footage. I have a couple of hours of raw footage from that workshop, but that's gonna be a good winter project for me to put together some of these workshop videos. We'll have just a couple of random shots so you can see the lay of the land at the Peninsula School of Art. And of course, in between it all, we're sprinkling in a little bit of skateboarding. We, we skateboarded at two or three different skateboard parks on the road too. Door County and that's always fun because painting is that great meditative state and that feeling of accomplishment and then skateboarding is that great refreshener energy giver and so when I'm able to combine the two in a weekend and do a little bit of both that's a good weekend anyway let's get right into today's video we'll check out what happened in the workshop we'll check out two different plein air paintings and we'll check out some other stuff too Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh, that was a good one too. We just found some kind of a stick, a gathering of sticks. This is amazing. Oh, there you go. Hello. Hi. Wow. That was a good one. <laughs> Wow. Oh, four. You got a far too. Puzzle piece is the lit up part of the table. Sixth puzzle piece. Seventh puzzle piece could be the background. Think about it in terms of hue. In terms of hue, it's red. Is it a white value? Is it a dark value? 
Oh, I already kind of picked out my value. It's kind of on the darker range of things. I, I see in terms of puzzle pieces, and you can't put yellow on top of blue and maintain right. the yellow. You can put blue on top of yellow and maintain the blue all day yeah. long. That lemon yellow just really activated the color. It's kind of a turquoise color. It's a light in value color, and it's very intense. So that's what I've done there. Again, if it's a very intense color, you don't have to do much mixing, so I'm pretty much right there. Yeah, more subtle. That's, that's it's a subtle amazing. thing. I'm seeing like so much interesting colors and things bouncing around in this that I'm having to restrain myself from getting into it too much. You know? You can see behind me, they actually painted the Peninsula School of Art. We're just packing things up. The people in the class did an awesome job. They did a little, a little lesson in color. We had, this was the little exercise that we did when we started the class. Because the class was all about color, we took Gamblin's idea of color space and we brought it to life in our own way. This idea here was that you can start in the center of color space. You can actually start by mixing a very neutral color and work your way out to a more intense color. Or if you're working with a very intense color, you can start on the outer edges and come in towards the neutral core. Here's my demonstration painting that I did in the class. I did these two pairs under two different still lifes and everybody in the class did two still lifes as well. Within seven hours, we did a great color exercise. We watched some videos. We learned about sight size drawing. We talked about value a little bit, but most of the time we worked on color. I gave two demonstration paintings, the pair under both still life conditions, and then everybody in the class did two paintings as well. We packed a lot in. I sent out my color video to everybody before the workshop took place. And that is something that I'm going to make available to everybody at some point as well. I'm going to start opening up some Zoom classes and I'm going to start to do some more with some virtual online teaching as well. Just because I know not everybody can get out to the farm or up here to Door County for my workshops. I will be giving two more workshops up here at the Peninsula School of Art in September. You can visit their website or click the link in the bio for those and we are headed out we are going out for dinner we kind of have a saturday night routine every time we're in door county so we're going to head up to the door county ice cream factory we're going to have pizza we're going to have ice cream we're going to do all the things that we like to do because the work is done and it's time to enjoy a leisure evening in door county well we have a little sun this afternoon and we're in ephraim and we're on moravian street so Moravian Church is right behind me and today I've selected a scene to paint looking out over Wilson's and out there to Eagle Bluff. The sun is out maybe for a limited time only. Check it out though. I have shade because of this van door. Uh, Wilson's is is definitely a hot spot in Ephraim and so um, there's already I can see there's like hundreds of people down below on the street but we're in a nice area to do a little painting. We're kind of off the beaten path and it's a good place for us to be. So I'm going to set my things up and we're going to make a painting.
I hope you enjoy. Still going. That was really cool to have the... <laughs> This is my value sketch. I'm enjoying the church bells so much that I will mix my colors while the church bells are ringing. You can see the way that I compose this. We're looking out over the bay right here. Here's Eagle Bluff. There's some really interesting, there's a road coming through. I think that this is a great place to paint. I'm really looking forward to it. Seems like there's a prismatic quality to the light. It's probably because the bay is right behind me. We're on a peninsula and then the Lake Michigan is on the other side. As you can see, it's just a beautiful view. I feel like I got a great painting this afternoon. We got to get ourselves cleaned off and have a little ice cream. We're going to walk down right down there to Wilson's and have a little bit of ice cream. I put Wilson's in the painting. I think that I think I'm really gonna like this painting when I get it home. I think you probably saw that book that I had clamped my, to my easel. I left the easel holding stand at the Peninsula School and I found a creative solution to, to that problem. So we're up here by the churches. Things are in bloom. On this side of me, there's a great view overlooking the water. We're gonna go walk down and have a little ice cream. Thanks so much for joining me for today's painting session.
Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that was <laughs> I'm getting like, it's like the flash is on, but little beads of water are going from the camera. Does it look rainbowy? <laughs> Which one's that bright pink? Oh, oh there's so a spider cool. rope that was pretty much. smell it again. <laughs> Door County. You got an 05? No, now I do. Alright, welcome back. It's early on Sunday morning and we've made it to Cave Point. This morning we woke up early. We went skateboarding because the breakfast restaurant wasn't open. We had and then we skateboarded for about an hour, went to breakfast at Pelletier's and now we're out here at Cave Point. We've already kind of walked around and I saw an area that looked pretty cool to paint. This is one of my favorite areas to paint in. Not just to paint in, but it's one of my favorite areas just to be in. I love the sound of the water. I love the transparent quality to the water. I love how the water veils the rocks that are underneath the water's surface turns those warm orange colored rocks into some kind of an emerald green. I'm looking forward to a nice morning of painting. I think I'll keep it small and just do something quick and easy and that'll be it for Door County and then we'll head home. I've reached a location that I think is pretty nice. Just looking right out there, we kind of have that one rock that has become a little island. We've got seagulls flying overhead. I think I'm just gonna work with what I have here, even though, even though it's an overcast day. I'm seeing a lot of nice, subtle nuances of color. I've kind of got a little shade in case it does decide to start raining. And I'm not sure exactly of my composition yet, but I'm gonna set up my easel and get started. I just uh, took some time to observe my scene and I created a value sketch of the scene out there. I'm, I'm glad I took the time to do that little sketch. It shows me the arrangement of dark and lights and now I'm gonna mix my colors and get this painting started.
I always tell people Cave Point is my favorite location to go to in Door County, painting or just to spend an afternoon. So I hope that sometime you'll go and check out Cave Point as well if you haven't already been there. All that's left to do is to hit the road and head home. We're talking about hitting a skate park on the way home, but I think first we'll go and refill the thermos and warm up with some hot coffee. So thanks for sticking with us for this uh, Door County trip. Everything has been working out in our favor. The workshop went really well. The students were great. I got two paintings that I'm very happy with. And thanks so much for joining us for this trip. We love bringing you along for all of our plein air adventures. So we'll catch up, we'll check in soon. Have a good night.